For Joanne Bland, Selma is home. She grew up in the George Washington Carver Housing Complex, and at 11 years old, she marched across the Edmund Pettus Bridge on Bloody Sunday in 1965. And it was an important time in our, in our lives as I look back. I was too, didn't realize it at my age, but um, they did, and my grandmother did. But these days, her focus isn't the past, but the future of her beloved city. But I also don't think Selma's any different than any city in these United States. They have the same issues. It's just that our name is Selma. Selma, where the unemployment rate hovers at around 12 percent, families are struggling with poverty, and where more people are leaving than moving in. Since the 1960s, the city's population has dwindled by more than 7,000 people. What's left? Hope. I think individuals have found it a lot easier to leave. I think those who are there are actually making strides at improving their area, but greater strides could be made if we didn't actually have sometimes a brain drain. Or what's called brain flight. That's when the best and brightest leave town to work and live elsewhere. Felicia Lucky is with the Black Belt Community Foundation. They work with more than 200,000 people in 12 counties within the Black Belt to bring in financial resources. Most oftentimes we want solutions and we want them now. And if there, there aren't solutions that will come now or tomorrow and it's going to take laying a stronger foundation to build the systems as it, as it has taken to destroy it. Part of the solution will be job training. Selma and the Dallas County area have one of the highest dropout rates in the state and few students go on to college. Manufacturing and textile jobs were always big business in Selma, but as times changed and the industry became more technical, the workforce did not change. Companies have got to go where they can get the skill sets. Wayne Vardaman is with the Selma Dallas County Economic Development Authority, and he says the jobs are here. In the past 10 years, nearly 1,500 jobs have been created in the area. 800 to 1,000 support the automotive industry. What we have to do, and have started doing, is to do a better job here working with the schools and all to develop the technical people for, for workforce development here so those people can get jobs. They're doing that by introducing students to potential careers before they leave high school. The local colleges are also a resource. Some students get training to get them workforce ready. The idea is to give hope to those who want to work, live, and give back to their hometown. It's music to Joanne Bland, who 50 years after marching on Bloody Sunday is still fighting for Selma. We've come a long, long way.